वेलकम टू फिजिक्स प्रैक्टिकल क्लासेस टुडेज टॉपिक इज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ग्लास द प्री रिक्विजिट नॉलेज फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट लॉस ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन लॉस ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन स्नेल्सला रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स The objective of this experiment is to determine the refractive index of this glass slab by using aligning pin method. The materials required for this a thermocol sheet, a plain sheet, a paper, obviously glass slab. pencil protractor ruler and four pins let's start the experiment first keep the sheet of paper plain sheet of paper on the thermocol sheet now fix this one okay we we need four more pins to fix it but in uh, in place of the pins i would like to use stapler pins now keep the glass slab in the middle of or middle or at one side it's up to us now take its outlines so mark it as a b c d so say this one is a b C and D. Now take the AB as the base. At any point, somewhere here, take the normal first using the protractor. Take any point first. Put a point. Say this is the point. Say this point is O. now here draw the normal so this is the normal line say this is O N. Now, from the normal line, we have to take the incident ray. Say the incident ray 
is 30 degree from here from here from the normal 30 degree we have to take okay with the help of the protractor Thirty degree from ninety, the left side thirty means ninety to eighty ten, eighty to seventy one more ten, seventy to sixty. So from here to ninety to sixty. So here is okay. This will make yes. This is the incident light ray. So this is the angle of incidence which is equal to 30 degree. Now take any two points. Now I would like to okay with the pencil only I will manage. Okay. Take any two points on this incident ray incident ray so we mark with the arrow like this now take any so one close to this base say for example here one point here say this is p1 another point somewhere far say at this point this is p2 P1, P2 are taken. So now Pierce put the pin at P1. Take one more pin, put it at P2. We have to see that the pins should be vertically up. Okay. So now Keep the glass lab back into the same boundaries. Okay, now we have to observe the line that is the these two pins from this side, this side of the glass lab. Okay, let's change the position of the camera. See here from this side we have to rotate our angle in such a way that the pins should look like straight. Now we can clearly see that the pins here, so here we can see they are separated okay this angle is not okay so we have to move we have to move our angle such a way it should look yes see now 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 they are looking yes yes see there is some difference so we have to see only through the glass lab inside the glass lab only from here this part we have to observe not the top okay through the glass lab okay so there is still some uh, we can see that they are separated this angle is not okay now move 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 yes now it is looking like they are aligned in one direction so here take one more pin this is the third pin we have to insert this third pin such a way that in the direction of p1 and p2 this is okay one is close to the glass lab yes this is okay yes this is p3 mark it as p3 otherwise we will mark it afterwards now let's take the fourth pin such a way that the fourth pin also should be in the same direction okay is this okay this is away from this one yes 
okay so totally we inserted one two three four such that it looks only through here through this part okay don't see the top uh, top portions don't see them it will be confusing only this way okay once again i repeat i am removing once again see already from the glass lab the two lines are already aligned p1 and p2 now we are putting the third pin in the same direction this is the one this is the third one now one more we are inserting okay this is like this through the glass lab all the four points are in the aligned in the same direction okay come back to this position yes now look at here so this is remove the glass lab so this pin is p3 and this is the position of p4 now join p3 and p4 okay such that it touches the surface it touches the surface this cd okay now again at this point we have to make the normal with the protractor okay so the point here this point and this point should match this is the 90 degree my way is to represent the normal is with dotted lines so that we can separate it with the other line other lines because this is acting as a incident light ray this part is acting as a away from the glass lab okay so this is emergent light ray let's write here this is going to act as this one is going to act as this ray incident light ray this is emergent light ray okay now this part okay so here we kept the glass so this in inside this portion i will write this one as the glass okay uh, say it's refractive index it's n2 it's refractive index we have to find this is our objective okay so this remaining portion this is air okay of refractive index n1 equal to 1 which we know it okay yes now we we apply the snell's law let's apply the snell's law here okay snell's law is applicable at the boundary of two mediums okay so where we need this is the rule n1 sin theta 1 equal to n2 sin theta 2 this is the snell's law okay so here we this is theta 1 is the angle of incidence angle of incidence means this is the angle of incidence this is theta 1 okay this is so this part 
n1 theta1 this is for air this medium and we need in this portion for theta2 so refraction takes place between the boundary of the two mediums air and glass here so here refraction is going to take place we don't know how much here that part we have to complete so let's complete so let's draw the refracted ray so that is inside the glass lab so from this point okay say we have named it as o n so this part as o prime and n prime okay yes join o to o prime this is the line we want this part is important for us okay so name it as so continue the light is coming from the air entering into the glass lab so this is acting as incident light ray and this is acting as a refracted this one is as a refracted light ray okay this is the angle of incidence theta 1 now we have to measure angle of refraction which is here this is important this is theta 2 we have to measure this one okay so again protractor yes so from the normal line so from here okay from here this part this is the 90 from here it is passing so it is here this is the refracted light ray it is at 70 okay this is here so it means the angle here to here is 90 to always from the normal 90 to this 70 so 10 plus 10 so total 20 degree so theta 2 equal to 20 degree so our experiment is over let's use the snell's law and calculate the refractive index of this glass lab n2 value we have to find so let's substitute the values n1 which we know very well is 1 sine angle of incidence theta 1 which is equal to 30 degree n2 is the refractive index of the glass lab which we have to find leave it as n2 only sine theta 2 we got it as angle of refraction here so this is as 20 degree so from this we can write it as n2 equal to sin 30 over sin 20 so let's take the calculator sin 30 over sin 20 the answer is 1.46 refractive index has no units it's just a number okay so i hope you understood how to do and how to calculate the refractive index of the given glass lab thank you